It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Arbisto Classic Bangers and Mash. Eight and a half minutes in the microwave, or get this, 35 minutes in the oven. I'm going to whack it in the microwave. If it was a quick 20 minutes in the oven, fine. But 35 minutes, blimey. I could put the whole heating on in the house for that and warm the house up in 35 minutes. So what we do, take it out the packaging, give it a little one of them. Uh, you've got a bit of potato there, some peas, sausages and gravy. So it goes in the microwave for eight and a half minutes. I've forgotten how to use the microwave. Hold on. Let me recircuit my brain. Right. That, that, there we are. Oof. What a malfunction. Right, we're going. Some of these microwaves these days, you've got to push, push an awful load of buttons to get it going. When microwaves first come out, you just had a dial. Turn the dial, press start, job done. Now it's like programming and a rocket to get to to get to the moon. Right, I'll be back in eight and a half minutes. Okay, so all microwaved up. I stopped it after five minutes, as per the instructions. And they ask you very nicely if you could give it a quick stir and then put it back in the microwave for three and a half minutes. So there's your eight and a half minutes. There's the, there's the dish there. What I like to do, of course, is um, I'm going to whack this one out. Gravy's nice and hot. I'm going to whack this out on the plate. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Now the reason why I've done that is I just want to show you what we have properly. Ooh, right. There it is. Eight and a half minutes in the microwave. Not the healthiest option. Not the healthiest op option, but if you're in a rush, or if you've been kind of just rather busy doing other things and you need a quick lunch, you want something substantial, middle of January, don't feel like doing much cooking, it's cold, it's horrible, you just maybe finished watching a movie in the evening and you want something to eat, bang this in the microwave, eight and a half minutes, job done. The only thing red on here, on the old lollipop, um, nutritional kind of lollipop thing is the salt. 40% of this dish, 40% of your daily salt intake is in this one dish. So let's, let's get in. I always like the peas in these dishes. They always go so well. Potato's okay. I reckon the, I reckon the potato needs a bit of gravy on it. It's a bit the mashed potato. It's a bit wet, it's a bit watery. A bit of gravy on there makes a world of difference. Mix some peas in as well. Job done. So, sausage. There's a look at the sausage. That looks okay. Important thing, it's nice and hot. But it's, if any of you have been on an aeroplane, this is your classic kind of, if you have a 
a cooked breakfast on an aeroplane if you fly in the mornings. This is your classic kind of sausage you would expect on an aeroplane. Nice skin, a meaty consistency and then loads of herbs and spices. Loads of herbs. It's, this is more like a this is more like a Cumberland sausage than a than a just a regular plain pork sausage. And the great thing about these things, if you're on a bit of a budget, you can sometimes, sometimes, if these are on offer, you can pick them up for a pound, for a pound. If you don't find them on offer, they're generally between £1.50 and £2, whatever you go. I picked this up in Morrison's. So you can bag yourself every now and again. I see them at Lidl's, these, these Bisto meals. Um, and on offer for a pound sometimes and it, they're fantastic value for money I suspect that you've you've hit this 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 video because you're either looking to buy one of these or you're just looking for a quick review of it or you're just interested to see what you get from one of these kind of Bisto meals but I don't think you'd be here if you weren't interested in in in, in looking to pick one of these up itchy nose it's it's simple simple food that fills a hole Maybe when you're a bit busy. I am interested to see how much meat is in the sausage. I am going to, after I get loads of potato, loads of gravy, some peas and a sausage on my fork. Right. Thirty seven per cent gravy. Right, pork sausage. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell. Have a guess, comment down below. Comment down below in the comments box how much actual pork sausage meat do you think is in the pork sausage? You writ it down yet? I'm gonna tell you. I'm going to tell you, 21%, 21% pork. <laughs> so it's made up of, they're generally rusks and cereals and that sort of thing. And you can tell that by the, the Cumberland nature of the sausage, that loads of herbs and spices to make you think that it's a sausage. Right, all the sausage gone. Look at that for a for a fork full of food. Pork sausage is gone. I'll polish that off in a moment. But I'm going to rate it. Biggest disappointment. Let's start off with a disappointing thing first off. Biggest thing, biggest disappointment is the mashed potato. The mashed potato, when I make mashed potato, I make it with loads of butter, loads of milk, and it's really creamy and lovely. This is just a watery mashed potato that's not very tasty at all. You've really got to mix the gravy in to give it some flavour. But... That's what it's designed to do. Once you mix the gravy in it, it's not that bad. The sausage is... I mean, if I'm eating a load of cereal, 
then it's better for me, I suppose, than, than, than a ton of meat all the time. So, um, 21% in the pork sausage, though, is a bit poor. It's a bit poor. It should be at least 70% pork, at least. But there we are. That's what you get for a quid, a pound or two. Um, it's simple, easy, heartwarming food in the middle of these long winter nights. That's when I've reviewed it anyway. They sell them all year round. Um, I like that enough to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Guide. Real Ale Craft Beer. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!